Hi there everyone and thanks again for joining me in this vlog post. This is my third for the month of December and today I'm going to shake things up a little bit. I'm going to be chatting with CCAC's board chair, Betsy Nyer. So for those of you that may not know, CCAC is governed by an all-volunteer, extremely smart, extremely capable um, board of directors and Betsy is our chair. And so I'm going to ask her a little bit about what motivates her to give her precious time and resources voluntarily to a community organization and the work of CCAC. All right. So hi, Betsy. <laughs> hi, Leslie. How are you today? I'm glad to be here. Good. Well, thanks for, of course, being on CCAC's mm -hmm. board and for being our board chair. So how long have you been the board chair now? I guess just one year. Yeah, yeah. one year as board chair and on the board for... I have no idea. Two years, two and a half I years something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yes. Something like that. Well, yeah. so what, just to start right off the top of the bat, is... What motivate, motivated you to be on the, the board of CCAC? Well, I was thinking about this, so you gave me a prep that we'd have these questions, and I thought about my family and I moved to Clifton three years ago, mm -hmm. and we're trying to figure out just ways to get involved, and we're pleasantly, I'll say, surprised at how neighborhoody Clifton is. It's a really great community, more than we mm -hmm. even expected. And so we were trying to figure out how to meet people and plug in and become part of that community, and we live within walking distance of the old location. and knew some folks and had gone to classes with my twins who are 10 had, were real little we'd gone to classes there yeah. long before we lived in Clifton and so I have a background in arts volunteer activities and thought well maybe there's something there so raised my hand to some board members and here I am three years later well yeah <laughs> that, that that works out well not unlike a lot of people I think that right. have joined our board and are, are volunteering with CCAC in some way so is there, because you're involved in a lot of different boards or mm -hmm. have been historically mm -hmm. and, and just community service sort of runs in, in your family mm -hmm. and in your blood. So is there anything that, you know, kind of from an early age that you saw that, that motivated you to really get involved in the community? You know, what really made me, as I thought about the answer to this question, what really clicked for me is how much you get when you join an organization like this. You know, you might like to think, oh, I'm doing something helpful or something noble, but really at the end of the day, you're getting more than you give. And if it is that spirit of, you know, you give what you get in anything, something you're practicing, a sport or whatever, you know, the more you participate, the more you get out of it. I think that's very true of most volunteer work and very true of the CCAC, yeah. you know. So, so part altruistic, but a lot of you're getting back well, yeah. too. I mean, yeah. you do. You, it's again, it is altruistic. Obviously, community organizations need volunteers. They need financial donors. They need supporters. All those things are pieces of the puzzle. But when you take a step back and look, are you enjoying going to that meeting? Are you enjoying the people you're working with that you're standing side by side with? You know, to build a community, build an organization, whatever it is, and. You're only doing it if you are. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So last question. So in terms of you mentioned financial resources and of course now being on this side of the board of CCAC, mm -hmm. you know, coming from being a parent of a, a class participant to being on the board, how important or, or talk a little bit about the importance of the financial resources to CCAC and um, why we need people's support. Well, again, it's, you know, you can pay your $30 or $50 for a class and go and do that. But what that doesn't do is provide the backbone of the organization. That provides a class, but without a place to do it, without people to put it on, without those things, that quickly goes away. And so having the ongoing funding for that kind of a backbone to create a structure that you need and a place that you need um, and the wonderful staff that we have that create that environment and that community, then you don't have those classes. Um, right. And so. Yeah, well, that's great. And to remind people, so much of what we do too, as part of the Community Arts Center's mission, is to be free and accessible and low cost. Right. And so, um, you know, we're always going to need donations to to keep that working going, that work going. And so, um, that's why we need leaders like you to to help us to manage and and steer the ship. The important thing that I didn't know about the CCAC when I joined the board is I thought it was I'll call it just an arts center. But really the community building parts of the programming and of the people here, the number of neighborhoods and communities it brings together, that was not in my radar. You might not know that from the name. Right. You know, you might think, oh, right. they put on art shows, and that's great, it's a gallery, but it's so much more. And yeah. I think that's another reason that it's become a beloved part of the community. Yeah. Well, thank you, and thank sure. you for your leadership mm -hmm. and your service. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. <laughs>